everyone and welcome to Prospect Channel TV. Thanks for always stopping by. God bless you. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please kindly do so by pressing the subscribe button. Thank you very much once again. God bless you. The story you are about to hear is very, very sympathetic and heartbroken. You are going to hear the reason why uh, those kidnappers that kidnapped the Sumerian Michael Namdi, the reason why they killed him. Then you will now ask yourself this question. Why would human being go to this instance? Okay. Mustafa Mohammed, the leader of the kidnapper gang that murdered Catholic Samirian, Michael Namdi, of the Good Shepherd Major uh, Samirian in Kaduna State in January 2020, has given a reason why he killed late Namdi, despite collecting ransom from the Samirian Seminary School. I remember that uh, Namdi was raised by a grandmother. He was an orphan. Yes. I recall that on January night, some armed men stormed the Catholic uh, seminary and kidnapped four Samarians, murdered one of them, and released the remaining three on January 21st, after they received a ransom from the seminary. The remains of the fourth Samarian, 18 years old Mike Namdi, was found in a bush on February 2nd. He was buried on February 11th. In a chat with the son, Mustafa said from the day Namdi was adopted, he kept preaching the gospel of Christ to him and told him to, told him to his face to change his evil ways or perish. He said late Namdi did not allow him to have peace as he continued preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ to him, even when he knew they were not of the same faith. He said he did not like the confidence displayed by Namdi and so he decided to kill him. Mustafa, who is currently in police custody with two other members of his gang, said they decided to invade the school because they knew it was a seminary and that they would make good money. According to him, they got information about the seminary from a gang member who is a commercial motorcycle operator and lives very close to the school. He said it took his colleague about five days to conduct proper surveillance on the school before they embark on the operation. He also told uh, them of how they had to use the mobile telephone number of the deceased Namdi to put a call across to the school authorities to demand a 100 million naira ransom, which was later reduced to 10 million naira paid by the school authorities for the release of the three Samarians. Mustafa further revealed that they had a they had to force the school authorities to purchase recharge cards of the various mobile telecommunication networks, totally 30,000 naira, and brought to the spot where they had agreed to collect the ransom. You see, this is very, very sympathetic. You know, Namdi, Mike M. Namdi was a orphan and he was raised by the grandmother. He's the only surviving child of the parents. So as it is now, the grandmother is left with nothing. You see, God will ever punish these people. Mustafa, you did not even do well at all. You kidnapped him, which is a very big offense in the first place. If you believe in Almighty, you wouldn't have done that. Not alone killing him for mentioning Jesus' name. This is nonsense. This is really nonsense. You don't even know anything about the Islam. He collected ransom and killed him. The Samarian Michael told him to change from his evil ways or perish. He has delivered the message to Mustafa and the likes, which our Lord Jesus Christ sent him. He sacrificed his life to deliver the message to, to him. It is written, Any who lost his life for my sake shall 
regain it in heaven when I am there. It shall be. So, I believe God that Michael is in heaven with God. But this Mustafa, you are going to suffer this for uh, terminating the life of this young boy for nothing. Okay, let's see what Nigerians are saying about this. Okay, somebody is saying here, as far as Kaduna government is concerned, you will be set free for killing a Christian. But remember, peace will be very far from you and your generation. Amen to that prayer. You have done well, Mr. Kidnapper. May you never die again. Somebody is saying this. Live forever, but my brother, continue to rest in the bosom of the Lord Jesus Christ, brother. Earth loser, a saint, but heaven will screw up a warrior. I don't really know what this man is trying to say with others. Okay, somebody is saying here, no single Muslim to comment, Abi. By their fruit, you shall know them. Nigerian Muslims are the worst in the whole world. They are perfect evidence of their religion. You know, somebody is talking about love here, yeah, that Muslims, they don't know how to, to love people and they themselves want to preach about love. Okay, if I want to marry that to what is just happening uh, since this week now, if you can remember the, the human activist, uh, Bala Mubaraka, the man th that was arrested on Monday by saying something against the, their prophet, Prophet Muhammad. Okay. They said he said that the prophet is no different with uh, the prophet uh, TB Joshua in Lagos. Okay, that is what he said. He posted something like that on Facebook that there's no difference between the uh, prophet TB Joshua of Lagos and the prophet Muhammad. And this is the reason why Muslims group have written petition against him to be executed, to be persecuted, to be persecuted. Sorry, let me say that. That is the reason why they said he's going to be killed. Even to the extent he was receiving so many threat messages. So, so many of them said that once he gets to a Kano state, if they did not kill him within two days, even the building that's shading him will we, we, we turn ashes. So you see, I don't really know what these people preach about, but if you look at this thing critically, I don't really see anything like love. They believe in killing human beings. I don't know why. Okay. Sorry. I'm just saying my own point of view about that. Okay. Somebody is saying here, a religion that is found, founded by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ does not give room for you to cut your fellow human being. Okay. Body at all. Jesus is not, Jesus is not dead, but he is still alive. And his judgment on the last day, according to the book of Revelation, any religion that makes you to harm your fellow human being is from the devil and satanic. And I pray that this is what is going to be for you on, on the last day, Mustafa. Okay, somebody is saying here, you will never have the grace to repent. Okay, even if you do that, the Lord Jesus Christ will punish you for ever doing this. And your punishment is going to be dead. We all know that God is a God of a merciful God. If he repents from his sins, God will still pardon him. All right. Somebody is saying here, you brought two tickets the day that Samarian was killed. One ticket for the disease, which you took him in the, which you took him in a flight to heaven. The other for yourself for a lorry that will, uh, you, that will take you to hellfire. Welcome there. Most of I pray you will repent. <laughs> if not, Jesus Christ uh, will surely pay you back what you did to this poor boy. Okay. So you can see so many Christians that are preaching here. Okay. I, I cannot take every, all of them. There are so many of faith think this is where 
I, I can stop for now. So what do you think about this? Do you think a saint should be pardonable for after his confession and all that? Please, scan the video.